Like I said, unfortunately, I've been in before. I've never, ever had a chance for something like this. And it, it's like, when I go into that classroom, I'm not inmate 310326. I'm Shane Stroop, a state tech student. We teach uh, computer classes, uh, electronics, motor controls, robotics, and industrial maintenance inside of uh, correctional facilities as well as outside. We have all the, uh, the training modules on the trailer, so we bring it into the facility like we are today. We pull the cart off for HVAC, for robotics, for whichever module we're currently working on, wheel it into a facility. At the end of um, the several classes that we're doing, we'll wheel it back on and take it to another location. They're getting just as good education in this classroom here at Algoa as they would be at State Tech. So upon their release, they will be able to take that to the employer and say, yes, I was incarcerated, but this is what I did while I was incarcerated. You know, and I've earned this certificate and this certificate and this certificate and this certificate, and that's why I deserve the job. I mean, they're gonna look at that and say, oh, this ain't just some little online class they took. This is a legit class. This guy's for real. That could be a job, that could be a career, that could be a high, nice house, nice car, and no prison. Previous administration and current has worked very hard to get technology in correctional facilities. The partnership with the State Tech and the Department of Corrections continues to just blossom. It continues just to get bigger and better. This is my main focus, is this career that I've been given, pretty much. I feel like I've been given a career. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for once. I'm cautious, but I'm excited because it's like, wow, I'm gonna have a whole new life all because of this class.